Hey guys, Minzy Bell here. We are apparently in settings. <laughs> we are back in the Wolf Among Us. I'm going to continue where I left off, where we're going in um uh Crane's apartment. Sorry, it's been like a day or two later since I recorded the other one. So, all right, let's go back over here. Um, I'm going to do the same thing that I did last time where I looked. <laughs> Why is the door open? And then we just went in. Rain? Nope. I'm not here. Okay, come on, let's get through this. Because I want to go snooping in his apartment. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Okay. What's that? Oh, God. What is that noise that just happened? Is that this? Probably. Has he got just a bunch of pictures of himself? I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Mm, 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 look at the Math, science, history. If I had to guess, this shit didn't work. <laughs> That's awesome. Can I do anything with this? It's raining, by the way. Um, don't really want to miss. Look, look, there we go. There's a message. So we listen? Why not? in the old days. Mm. That you? All you can do is just look at it. And shake your head. Okay. Because I know that, because I know sometimes you can look at stuff and then look at it again and he might do something different. I just know that because of when he was like examining um, Lily's body in the last chapter, you could hit some stuff twice. My dearest and... Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. I'm not watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> Apparently, he wanted to write a note to Snow. And never did. Crooked man. This is all I could get. I'm afraid Snow will start to notice. I'll have the rest for you next week. Ichabod Crane. What's going on here? So the crooked man is in here. Oh, fuck. Take the money! Confiscate it! Ask about it later! There's a key. I took the money. I'm a bad that might be useful. But I guess so. <laughs> Yay, people weren't lying. The crooked man is in this. Well, it's being mentioned at least. I don't know about anything else. I guess so. The crooked man took the, um. What the fuck is going on with my mouse? Took the pictures then? That we saw in the hotel? Is there nothing? Any to go to that? I don't know what's going on with my mouse. It's just wandering away. 
there nowhere else to go? Hold on. Does it... No, I wouldn't think so. I wouldn't think you need a key to that. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of where... Hey! It's that key. That key right there. Or at least it just looks like it. I don't know. I don't think there's anything... I'm I'm having issues. Hello. I can looks like I can open that, but I guess not. This is very hi. <laughs> this is very difficult to control. Ah! Oh, there we go. Really? Yes, really. Oh, okay. Big B, we're having issues. Bedroom. Oh, wow. Just use it. You got the key anyways. If it is the bedroom to the... There it is. What's that? What the fuck? Grab him! Jack? Oh my wow. god. It is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean... Of all the places, this weather, right? I just used the key. A little damp, I guess. But uh, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Explain. Explain yourself now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend. So you go out the window. You know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh, shit! Get him! <laughs> okay! I almost missed that. You got me. Just take it easy. Tell me why you're we'll really here. make a big deal out of this. You better tell me why you're really here. Okay, okay. You're stealing this stuff. I don't give a shit, really. I heard Crane was leaving town. I... Figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. A little what Robin Hood never hurt anyone, right? And you heard this from? What does it matter? I hear things. Asshole. What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay. Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff. All right? Did somebody send you... Tell the I'm not truth. gonna punch him. No, it's just me. Just take it easy. <sighs> you know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? Investigating. I'm investigating. Sure. I am. It's not a lie. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, it was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just... Uh, you're going out the window through. anyways, go! You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. What the fuck? I may not know why you're here, but... I'm listening. Go on. I'm listening. Look, I have some dirt on Crane you might be interested Ooh, in. Oh, tell me. Word on the street says he's got a witch in the city. <gasps> I can tell you who she is, if you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew Tell that. me. All right. Tell me. Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other. I can do that. Wipe the whole incident under the rug. I can do that. Fine. You got a deal. Perfect. I don't mind doing that. Now tell me where <laughs> I can find this witch. Strong grip. Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for. Where is she? If he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her. Exactly. Of course. You've got to be fucking kidding me. 
But even a name is a good start, right? Yeah. I mean, that's more than what you came in with. I give you that much. Right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. I think this arrangement can be beneficial to both of us down the line. Oh, God. <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come Just let on. me look and then you can have it back. If it's nothing I need. Oh, I just want that. Just make sure. Yep, that's all I want. And then, you know what? You can take everything else. Everything else you can take. I just want this. The white deer. Do you always talk to yourself like that? It's a glamour tube, asshole. The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. Crooked man again. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You seem nervous. Nervous about something? What do you mean? Look me in the eye and tell me you didn't steal anything else. Come on, Jack. I'm letting you have all this other shit. Thank you. Is that it? Pick me? Better get out the window. Are you still here? Just keep your mouth shut, all right? You're the boss. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. He's helping What's me. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. She's being nice. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. He doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. Of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Are you going to give her the money? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. Let's catch him first. Right now, I honestly don't care. I just want to get the fucking guy. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure, figure out, out where he's meeting her. I'll figure it out. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. I am. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? Oh. We don't have much time. Can I? Okay. I was told you are able to go to all three places. No matter what you choose, no matter what you choose first, you get to choose all three places. You just get to choose the order you go in. So thank you to the friends who actually told me that. I love you all. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go to the trip trap first because they said, uh, not first, last. Because I was told that you could still go there last and figure out where it's from. So I'm going to go to D and Dumb's office. You I'll go pay the Tweedle brothers a visit. Right. I'm sure they know something. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. Let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. Uh oh. Jack, I can't help you anymore. I'm gone. But yes, thank you to the people that told me to um you can go to all three places, but oh, you always Oh no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Need to go to the place that he was just at. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and uh <laughs> you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> That's what he Excuse wanted me. to say to him, I guess. Oh, Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. Hi, Flycatcher. Um, are what you okay? You here? Are you okay? Your face. Oh. Uh, Bluebeard was here. Motherfucker. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? I know, it's Bluebeard. When I wouldn't let him in. Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? What did he take? 
I wasn't. Mean. I don't know okay. what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after. I'm really sorry, Big B. I feel bad for him. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here, but then he got mad. Don't worry saying, about it. Oh, just terrible things. <sighs> don't worry about it, flycatcher. Oh, I'm gonna get fired. Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way. Told me to get lost. The what? twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? Crane's an asshole. That's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. Oh! They're usually hey, pretty Hey, Crane's nice. an asshole. They're come standing. back with us. Well, Crane is gone now. I, I can't see why he couldn't come back to the woodlands. Really? That would be... Thank you. Come by the business office. I can't make any promises. Right, of course. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Please. Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, uh, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Oh, well, he seems nice. I felt bad that he got punched. Fucking Bluebeard. Asshole. I wonder what he would have done at Crane's then. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't need knock. To give me a Let me knock. That was a bang, not a knock. We're closed. Guys, open up. It's the sheriff. <laughs> hey, fuck? look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Hey, Woody. I'm not gonna well, do anything. Come either. on in, buddy. Oh, he jumped out of his mind. Brent, what? He's a traveler. Yeah, sure. A weary traveler in search of some yeah, he's hospitality, drunk. right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. <laughs> oh my god, he's so fucking drunk. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it with- You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you're You mumble. should sober You up. should quit while you're ahead with that stuff. I might need your help. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? She's not down on pain. The doc gave them both barmesidal ah. ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. Oh, God. Whatever. And he said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Yes, he did. He certainly did. But let me tell you something. I seen haven't felt things? this good in a long time, fat boy. Have you seen her sister's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? I saw her come in with something, but I didn't see where she put it. Nope, haven't seen it. That funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Ah, uh, it wasn't my you fault. Think I shot up the place? It wasn't my fault. They got away though, didn't they? We are all shot, dude. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. 
We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. And we're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, I... yeah, I know, I know. And I wanna help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. Sure. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded Ugh, with him. Just indulge him. Just a quick slug. That's oh, fine. Whatever. <laughs> He's even He's just like, dead. whatever. Maybe he'll pass out. All right, now help me. Oh, shit. Grand. The doc said you needed to rest. How many times oh, you fuck. fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything what about do you it. Do now? It's done. No. Oh, God. Separate them. Even he's just like, motherfucker. What more do you want? What else Cut can I this fucking shit out, say? God. Cut this shit out now. I don't care what it's about. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. Grand, give it a I rest. think whatever happened was between them. And Lily is dead. So let's put this whole thing to rest, Grand. I feel, I feel bad for Woody right now because Grand is just fucking drunk and high. And everything in between. Grand. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. I'll try not to. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the role. Maybe, uh, ogres, too. Nah, just let him talk himself to sleep. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? Yeah. What a fucking day. There you go. <laughs> he won't remember this. Of course. There you go, just let him talk himself to sleep. Oh, that's even better. She's in her troll form. I'm just glad they're okay. Oh, shit's right there, isn't it? Oh, God. Please don't wake up. No. What, can I look at that? Oh, are you fucking kidding me? I thought you were just gonna look at it. Oh. Well, you know what? That works too. That fucking works. Please don't. No. no, oh, fuck. That you, Woody? Ah. <sighs> Woody? No, Holly. It's me, Bigby. Bigby. Boss closed. And excuse me, but I'm not in the mood for entertaining. But what the fuck? I know you're not gonna leave. You do what you want. You always do what you want. 
I'm just trying to help you out. There's Narissa. There's Faith. And I'm guessing that was Lily in her, um, glamour form. At least I'm pretty sure that's Faith. I think that's Faith. Just, like, her hair is nice and everything. And what the fuck is that? It's either D or Dom. I, I can never remember. Is in the background. What the fuck? Do you even give a shit about us? The strays. Of course. The ones that aren't in that fancy high rise. You may not believe this, but yeah, I care about everyone who came over. I don't know about that, Sheriff. I You're do. friends with your friends, and we ain't friends. Um, okay, so we know about the brooch because we gave that to her. That's just wine. That's the glamour tube. We know about the glamour tube and it's most likely the same thing that bothers me right there. Like he's right there. Okay, there's the address book. Maybe her address is in there. Be honest, Sheriff. Why are you going after him? The guy that killed Lily. You could have quit a long time ago, but you're still going. Why? Did they give you this job for a reason? Or was this the only thing the business office would let you do? I'm doing this for Lily. She deserves whatever justice I can get her. I want her to know I actually care. It. I care. I'm making him care, at least. How about that? What the fuck? The phone. Oh, is it Snow calling, maybe? You were getting your glamour on this day. And one of these has to be the witch. We know it's right there. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. Yep. I'm Answer. looking for Bigby. Okay, it was her. She was is looking for me. Because Flycatcher Bigby, probably called her. There, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got an address. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. All right, let's go. I don't want to miss him. I'll meet you there. All right, I'll see you there. Please tell me you're saving. Yes, it's saving. Okay, I'm not even gonna look at this because it's saving right now. And um it's already it's about to be 30 minutes. It's getting kind of close to it. And so um next time when I come back, we're going to go see Auntie Greenleaf and see what we can get from her and hopefully she'll cooperate. So I will talk to you guys later. Bye.